welcome everyone, this is Papa Sean, and we are looking at XCOM 2. Let's dial back some of that volume we've got going on. Some of the music will lower down just a little bit here. Alright, so we've got some audio settings here that we see. Push to talk, so there's in-game talk. Uh, video will go ahead and leave a lot of this stuff the way it is. Gameplay show enemy health. Yep, yeah, all looks good. Just basics. And let's go to get a new game out. We are a rookie. We've not ever played this before. And let's go ahead and give this go. Excitement continues to build. City centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. In keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. <coughs> Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate a benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Keeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. The Advent administration reminds you to report all suspicious activity. Approaching position. You were right. Definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. So it looks like we've got some movements. It's turn based. And we've got some instructions, so we're going to move. So it's right click to lock in the location. Uh, unit flag shows the selected soldier's health and action movement remaining. Soldiers get two actions per turn. 
Well, let's see. Now has one action remaining. In position. So it looks like but I can here. double move. But see if you can't find a safer position further out. Looks like full cover ahead. Moving out. All right. So we get to double move. Crasher two, stay close. Keep pace with Crasher one. Curious if it will let me go straight to. Yep. Cool. <coughs> position. We're gonna have to go through them. Stay out of sight till we're ready to strike. Copy that. Keep to the shadows until you're absolutely set. We'll only get one shot at this. In the shadows. All right, concealment. Most missions start with squad and concealment. Use concealment to set up ambushers. If any of your soldiers are spotted, all of your soldiers lose the benefit of concealment. Okay, so you can go out this way and we'd be seen, perhaps. Uh, I'm not seeing any targets in the open. Um, yeah, so we'll... Make that our move. Stay in low. Okay. Don't get too close. They'll be spotted for a shot. <coughs> All right. So we got other other instructions. Again, if we go out in the open, we're likely to get seen. So we're going to try a backwards move. Mm, not really seeing. Um, I think that's the first go. Or at least to here. Well, it wants us to go here, but I think that if I walk on this area, it'll be too close to the open. Mm, nearby enemies will spot. Who's too close to them? Alright, well, let's go ahead and give it a shot, see what it's. See, I would have thought I would have been seen we doing that. Numbers, but, we've got surprise on our side. Hopefully that's enough. but apparently, I guess they're too far away to see that activity. All right. I can thank the old man. You and me both. We're not out of the woods yet. We need to take out those remaining soldiers. I've got the trap on us. Permission to engage. Do it. All right. Press Enter or left click on an action button to activate the tactical combat UI. Click Fire Weapon or use Enter to confirm the attack. So I can click on it and then press Enter or left click to to activate the tactical. So you click on Fire Weapon. They look human aliens. Alright, losing concealment. The entire squad loses concealment when any soldier attacks an enemy, breaking windows or kicking open doors, a soldier's flanked or steps on a detection tile, which I guess are these red ones here. <coughs> You all shoot first and celebrate later. No problem. All right, so I'm gonna go over here for cover, since that's where they're telling me to go, and then I'll likely I open up fire. Bravery, but you're dangerously close right now. Be careful. I enter the tactical combat UI. That's the left click, and we've got line of sight, so we're gonna go ahead and fire that weapon. And there goes Amma Ramirez. Damn it! You can't take risks like that. Watch your flame. 
thanks. So that's how you want to play it. Okay. Nice work. Press the advantage before they get around you. Let's see how you like this. They're closing in on me. Cover my foot. Looks like backups arrived. Central, reporting in. You're late. What have you been doing down there? Taking in the sights. What the hell are these things? They're us. At least they used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's going to change. Let's move. Looks like that transmission went through. You have an advent transport closing on your position. You heard her. Cover the left side. I'm on it. So it's neat. You can check over half cover. Fire on anything that moves. Uh, soldiers in Overwatch will shoot first. Enemy units they see moving. Activate Overwatch now to prepare for the reinforcements. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and hit that Overwatch option too. Confirm it. The main entrance is clear. We need to move on the package. Okay, so we need to get in there. Alright, so we got an advent trooper scope. This weapon upgrade will add an aim bonus to any weapon it is attached to. Okay. And then it wants us to move inside. So we can go ahead and do that. <coughs> Three. <laughs> Reinforcements just hit the ground. They're getting nervous. Now I know we're in the right place. So that's the benefit of Overwatch is that since they well, arrived, we were able to kill one right out. Just go. I'll try to stall them. <laughs> So we can move there. Let's see if it'll let me... Uh, I guess I can't deviate really from now. Let's remain in over... No, I... Looks like we could fire a weapon, huh? I want to do Overwatch, but it's asking me to... Let me try Overwatch. Fire on the first enemy that moves within your line of sight with a penalty to aim. It's not allowing me to do that. So we'll go ahead and fire the weapon here. And we missed. Which is not surprising. <laughs> Since there's a car in the way. I'm going for the door. You should be able to cut right through the door's security protocols. They were never expecting anyone to get this close. All soldiers can hack certain computers, lock doors, and some other objects to gain access and temporary bonuses. 
So here's the hack option with the key for. Go ahead and commit. Choose a hack reward. Disguise signals soldiers immediately gain concealment. Soldiers gain complete immunity from the next two attacks. There's a, it wants us to go with the disguise. Let's go through, put all that through. Alright, any key to continue? Soldiers can carry unconscious, dead, and bleeding out units. This allows a soldier to retrieve a fallen comrade. Alright. So if we click on carry unit, and we go ahead and carry that guy. The entire advent security grid just lit up. Firebrand is holding nearby for evac, but it's now or never central. Understood. We're on the move. Well, there goes Peter Russi. No! Central! Crasher 1 is down! You have to get out of there! We need another exit! Now! Got it covered. Okay, we're gonna throw our grenade. Just select the item and then left click on the, the area and it shows you the area effect. Pretty neat. Alright. And we are gonna double time it out here. Almost there. Stay focused. P to place evac zone. Select call Sky Ranger icon on press P to place an evac zone. Select the target area and confirm placement. Alright. So go ahead and click on that. Call Sky Ranger. Keep moving. You don't need to tell me twice. All right, so this character, you need to get on to the pickup location. And uh, we're going to go ahead and evac.
Not quite sure what that was. <laughs> So we got our first achievement, first blood. And it looks like our hidden base. Carefully! There's potentially decades of atrophy to contend with. Wish we had more time. I don't disagree. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Let's get on with it. Remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. We were still calling it a war back then. We had no idea what was coming. Response from the cerebral cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. I've managed to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe... No plan B here, people. Do it. Response normal, vital stabilizing, procedure complete. Told them it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. So it looks like this is us, the uh, playable character, Glad and to see continuation. You out of it. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still. Can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but... A lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back, Commander. All right, well, there we have it, our first uh, introduction into the game. Commander, to the research labs. And we're being called to the research lab. So let's uh, end this episode here, and we'll pick up on the next episode as we learn a little bit more about uh, the research lab, engineering, armory, and command. Looks like those are the our options here. We also have the XCOM archive, so we're going to investigate those in a little bit. I hope this has been helpful and enjoyable for you guys as we explore XCOM 2. This is Papa Sean. Please mash that like, subscribe, and share buttons. That'll help me out quite a bit. It's free to do, especially the share and subscribe are excellent help towards uh, the viewership. And uh, additional content will be made available. You'll be able to check out the channels and watch additional videos, other games, and uh, enjoy. Thank you, and have a great day.